Hello guys, good day, welcome back to my channel, RIT Engineering and today I will show you the crack checking as per ACI 310 using the uh, Excel application and this spreadsheet will be available for those members level 2 members, okay? So, we have here the exposure condition of the element as, our, as per the ACI so we have 5 conditions Condition one is the dry air protective members, then with its corresponding uh, allowable cracks. Then every time we change the condition, it automatically changes the condition, uh, the selected condition. Then it's allowable cracks. Number condition two is the uh, humidity moist air soil. Then Raising chemicals, uh, say water, say water spray, wetting and drying, and the water retaining structures, then corresponding allowable crack with crack. Then under in the material properties, we have a prime C, a prime C, which is the concrete compressive strength. Then FY natin is the reinforcement yield strength ES, the RM, sorry. The IM is the modulus of rupture reduction factor. ES, the modulus uh, reinforcement modulus of elasticity. Then the concrete modulus of elasticity, EC. Then the modular ratio. Uh, yung formula natin para sa concrete modulus is 4,700 square to by prime C. As per the ACI, so this is the English unit and megapascal. So this is RM, this is siya. Mucha hindi rin to. Ayan. Then, yung modular ratio natin is the ratio of the modulus of elasticity steel over the concrete. Then, under the section properties, mayroon tayong data na width of the beam or slab. So, yun. For the one-way, one-way slab, guys. Both uh, one-way and beam, pwede natin gamitin dito. And then, uh, saan na tayo? The modular, modular ratio. It's the ratio of the modular surplus. Is T of the steel over the concrete. Okay, the section. We have here the width of the beam, height of the beam, then cover to center of the compression steel bars. So, yung CC na to is the measurement from the face of the beam or slab to the center of the bars. If there are two layers, so yung distance natin is to the middle, to the uh, half between the distance of the two layers, okay? Also, this one CT for the tension naman siya. Then, yung AT natin is the distance for the face of the beam or call uh, slabs to the nearest rebar uh, sa tension, located in the tension part. Okay? Then, of course, yung D natin is the uh, depth or the height, height of the beam or slab minus the CT. Para sa tension reinforcement natin is let's say NT. Na this is the quantity of the tension rebar. Then of course the diameter under tension part. Then the spacing. So the spacing na to, yung is na yan, is the spacing between the bars. The main bars. Let's say main bars. So this is the center to center distance. Then AS is the total area, the gross area of the rebar. So, kunin lang ninyo yung area ng rebar, then multiply by the quantity. Then, same with the compression reinforcement, nag-change lang natin yung uh, mga name. Ito pala guys, ang ginamit ko ditong way is, instead na cell, yung gagamitin ko, for example, uh, nakikita ninyo yan, chinins ko into variable, corresponding variable. For example, Yung cell na yan, gusto ko siya i-change yung variable. So, click, type lang ninyo, then enter. So, ito no, 
Yung cell na yan, kahit saan gamitin mo na yan, itong variable na yan, ang ituturong niya is ito palagi. Okay? So, balik tayo. Also, we have applied service moment. Let's say in M. So, service moment lang to guys, ha, sa pag-check ng crack. So, before tayo pupunta dun sa calculation, nalagay ko na lang din dito yung result para may summary na tayo. So, para makikita natin, once may, may fail or pass yung section natin. Okay? So, punta tayo dito sa calculation. Sa section properties at cracking stage. So, yung B natin, this is the ratio. Ang gagamitin natin B is the B over the modular ratio times the reinforcement at the tension part. Then, yung R natin is the ratio ng quantity of the uh, N minus 1 times the compression over the modular of, hindi to quantity, okay, sorry. Modular ratio minus 1 times the compression over the modular ratio times the tension reinforcement. Then ito naman, yung Y natin, uh, this is the neutral axis dip. So para makuha natin yan, square root of 2 times D lang yan, the effective dip times, sabi na na-complete natin dito, times the quantity, ito na lang, dito na lang. Uh, 1 plus the quantity R times CC times D plus 1 plus R the square minus the quantity 1 plus R. Then, all the uh, quantity divide natin sa B natin. So, divide natin dito. So, meron tayong 105.11. Then, para sa gross moment of inertia natin, BH cube over 12 lang yan. Then, para makuha natin yung uh, moment of inertia at cracking section, sa crack section, uh, ito lang, instead na H yung gagamitin natin, yung effective diff na uh, neutral axis. Neutral axis diff yung gagamitin natin, yung Y. Then, plus natin yung quantity na modular. Okay. Modular ratio times the tension reinforcement times the quantity d minus y squared, the quantity squared, plus the quantity n minus 1 times the compression times y minus cc squared. So, makikita ninyo naman yan. Okay. Then, para naman, makamute natin yung concrete modulus of rupture, yung fr, let's say fr. So, ano lang siya, yung coefficient na input natin dito. Ito yan. Yung coefficient na input natin, natin is multiply lang natin sa 0.62 times the square root of A prime C. Okay. Then, makuha natin yung mom, cracking moment. Yung cracking moment na yan is simply the concrete modulus of rupture times the gross modulus of elasticity. Ito yan. Then, divide natin sa H over 2. Sa so dip over 2 ng beam. Then we need to convert. We need to multiply by 10 times raised to 6 or 1 million kasi we need to convert it. Para yung units niya is consistent. Okay? Then, pagkatapos natin makuha yung cracking, yung section properties at cracking stage, we need to check the cracks uh, if the excess or will occur or will not occur. So simply, check lang natin, compare lang natin yung uh, moment, service moment sa cracking moment. So means, if, to guys, if yung service moment natin is greater than sa cracking moment, syempre, mag-occur yung crack. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin na fail na yung beam natin. So kapag mag-occur yung yung crack, isa-solve natin, ikakalculate natin yung yung mga allowable. Ay, kukumpare sa mga allowable yung result natin. As per the SCI, then, makakakonglude na tayo na safe or hindi yung BIM natin. Pero, if the ala, uh, service moment is less than the cracking moment. So, ibig sabihin, yung cracks natin, hindi siya mag-occur. So, no need to compute 
the chicken kasi hindi nga siya mag mag-occur. See? Yun lang ka, kadali sa checking ng, ng crackings. So, pero i-check natin sa so kasi nga nag-occur yung crack. So, trace strain compatibility analysis characteristics. So, kailan natin kunin yung FS. So, ano yung FS? Yung FS na yan is the steel tensile stress at service load level. Okay? So, ang formula niyan is the modular ratio times the service moment, then kailan natin i-multiply by 1, 1 million para consistent yung unit. Then, multiply natin sa quantity depth minus the neutral axis depth over the moment in, of inertia under crack section, ICR. Then, kapag kunin natin yung ratio ng FY is 0.558 siya. Okay? Then, FC naman natin, yung FC naman natin yan, is a concrete uh, compressive stress at service load. So, this is uh, the service load, uh, service moment, convert natin into a newton millimeter. Then, multiply natin sa depth ng axis, then over the ICR. Then, kapag kunin natin yan, in terms of a prime C is 0.44. Now, we need to check the crack width as per the allowable. So, ito mga data na yan from the top. Uh, yung AT natin, yung T. Yung T na yan is the depth of the concrete area in tension zone. Dip. So, determined by having the center of gravity of tension bars as a centroid of the concrete area in tension. So, yun. Ang formula niyan, simply, 2 times CT lang. Okay? First is the number or the quantity of rebar under tension side. Then, ito na yung magiging area natin. The area of concrete in tension. Zone divided by the number of tension bars. So, B times T lang yan over the NT. Then, magawa natin yung crack width. Yung crack width na yan, ito yung formula natin. So, 11 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay? Or simply, 11 over divide, uh, divide by 1 million times the FS natin, yung steel tensile stress at service load level times the quantity A natin, yung nakalculate natin dito, yung area of concrete in tension zone divided by the number of tension bars times the AT, this is the uh, concrete cover at the tension bars. Then, raised to one third or 0.333. And so this is the tracking width na 0.256. Then we need to check it from the maximum allowable as per ACI sa table na to. So, ang pinili natin is dry air protective member. So, automatically, yung allowable natin is makikita natin dito yan. So, every time mag-change tayo rito, so, nag-change na yun yung crack allowable. So, 40, 0.41 allowable natin. So, from the allowable 0.41, from the calculated cracks, so, means, okay yung cracks natin. All, even though there's a crack sa members natin, Pero, save pa rin siya from the allowable as per code. So, means, okay. Then, we need to check the allowable stress ng steel natin. The maximum allowable is, uh, is still stress as per ACI 350 M-6 for normal environment exposure for one-way members. So, ibig sabihin, one-way slab and beam lang yung pwedeng gam gamitan dito. So, 250. 250 yung maximum natin as per this uh, formula. Ito guys, formula. So, ibig sabihin, this is the minimum. Minimum of 250 and maximum of 556,000 over the quantity beta times the square root of the spacing squared plus 4 times 50 by dt over 2 squared and 140. So, whichever the minimum, ito yung magiging result niya. So, 250. Then, yung strength natin ng tensile, uh, tensile stress at service, service level is 
4.43. So, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo lumapas sa maximum. Therefore, okay yung uh, member natin, yung section. Doon yun, we need to check the bar diameters for high bands as per this table. Okay. So, yung control natin is 160 MPa. So, if S natin na calculated is 234.43 lang. Therefore, yung DT max natin is 32. Yung uh, tension bars is 16 yung ano natin, yung ginamit. So, therefore, okay. Then, how about the spacing of the uh, high band bars? So, same din, 160 yung control natin, if S 160. Then, yung S max natin is 300. So, hindi tayo lalampas sa center to center distance na yan. Spacing ng uh, rebar. So, yung S provided natin is 125. Uh, Saan na Ito, 125. So, okay siya. So, therefore, okay. So, ang kagandaan dito, may summary na tayo. Pwede na natin makita. Uh, yung result ka agad. Then, tandaan ninyo guys, I have a note here. So, if cracks will not occur, so, i-disregard ninyo yung calculation. Kasi, hindi ko na pinormula kasi supposed to be kapag hindi mag-occur yung cracks, wala dapat to. Hindi siya mag-show. Okay, for example, ipalitin natin yung moment. Ito. So, cracks will not occur. Ito kasi yung service load natin is 1 lang. Then, MCR natin ng section is 23.80 yung maximum. So, makakaya pa na hindi magkakrack yung beam natin. Until 23.8 kN. So, this checking, hindi na yung kasama dapat. So, don't, don't, ano yan, ha? disregard. Please disregard this calculation. Ito yung note na yan. Kasi sometimes, uh, kapag mag-change tayo rito, for example, nag-fail siya eh. Nag-fail siya. Minsan nag-fail siya due to sa weight. Kasi nga, hindi na natin kailangan to i-check. Kasi, Initially, hindi talaga magkakarak yung beam natin. Okay? Ayan. So, every time mag-check tayo guys, mag-change tayo rito, automatically, mag-update na siya. So, change natin dito 125. Let's say 125. So, cracks will occur. Okay? But, tingnan ninyo, hindi siya okay as per the allowable stress. Then, allowable crack width. See? So, anong i- kailangan natin gawin. So, ibig sabihin, and this condition, humidity, moist, air, soil, ang allowable lang natin sa 0.3. So, kailan natin increase yung section natin or yung reinforcement. Okay. Let's say 4, uh, let's say 10. 0.4352. So, malaki pa rin. Ibig sabihin, we need to increase the the size of the beam. So, by trial and error 2, until such time na ma-meet niya yung condition niya. See? Na-meet niya yung condition by increasing the size of the beam. 278, if it's prime, not okay. So, let's say 900. 261, na pwede na tayo dito mag, ano, uh, mag change a 3 pieces at tension. Ah, kaya pala kasi 3 pieces lang. So, let's say 10. Ayun. 80, so pwede natin to palitin. Ayun, no. Ito kasi sa number of pieces, naka 3 pieces lang kanina. So, ito, pwede natin yan palitin. Ayun, no. Pwede pa. See? So, for example, 350 natin to. So, hindi siya okay kasi nga, maximum siya, uh, more than siya sa maximum, which is 300. So, let's say 200. So, okay. So, yun. Yun lang ka... Dali, or para, para din updated kayo, uh, pa-check na lang dun sa ano, as per the updated ACI version. Yun lang guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for those new and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I uploaded a new video in this channel. By the way guys, let us pray for the peace of the world, especially between the country of Israel and Palestine and to their neighboring countries. Thank you and God bless.